Coach, obviously, you know, you've just been through a heck of a game, all sorts of ups, all sorts of downs. What are your first thoughts from, from what you just saw out there? Well, you know, I you know, probably gave everybody that watched that on national television a heart attack, at least the ones that were rooting for uh, the Orlando Predators. But uh, the, the first thoughts are, you know, adversity, uh, character, uh, a commitment to excellence. And even though there were some ups and downs, there were some bad things that happened, the guy stuck through it. And that's as a coach. I mean, what more can I ask for? I mean, the guys took a bad situation and turned it into a good one, and I couldn't be more proud right now. Jason had a game with some ups and downs, took a lot of shots. What did you think of his performance tonight? I thought he hung in there. I, I think when you start learning about the ebbs and flows and you start learning about the ups and downs of this game, have a short memory. If you are down, w what can you do to fight back? Now, you're right. He, he took too many shots. The offensive line is going to be... I mean, more upset than they've probably been all year. We didn't give up a sack before this game, and all of a sudden we gave up a couple tonight. They know that they got to work on things. A couple of the receivers dropped some balls and on key third and fourth down situations. They know they have to work on those things. But a testament to Jason is even when all that stuff is going on, and he's making some bad reads himself, the fact that we still come out on top, when this stuff starts coming together, I, I think they realize we do have something special here. Now, you're DB yourself from your days of when you played in this league. There were obviously a lot of times where Randy Hipper was able to hit some of the receivers up top. What are you telling your defensive backs in those situations? Right, you know, we, when we did our, our scouting report, uh, you know, Hibbert is a great, great quarterback. He really is. His ball placement is phenomenal. The, the way that he can place a ball over a shoulder on a 40-yard just go pattern is, is amazing to me. Um, you know, we give him all the credit in the world. We knew it was going to be a tough game. We knew that uh, they had some good receivers that had great hands and some good possession skills where they were going to get, you know, first downs. I think what we have to work on is limiting the big play. And statistics say that if they drive down the field seven, eight, nine, ten plays, well, they'll probably be jammed up. And these one and two play things down the field for touchdowns, they got to stop. And, and they know it. And my philosophy, I'm not going to yell, I'm not going to scream, we're going to get back in, we're going to work on it. You know, if we have to make the necessary changes scheme-wise, we definitely will. But, you know, I love these guys. I mean, they're working really hard. And, again, even with all that said and done, nobody put their head down. Let's get it back. Let's find a way to win this thing. Now, you failed to get the onside kick at the end of the game with 40-some seconds left, and you've only got one timeout left. What are you telling your team in this situation, knowing that if Tampa just gets two pushes forward, the game's over? I think the biggest thing was the fact that we kept the ball uh, under the 10-yard line. Uh, when you do that and you have one timeout, and the, the time that it is, well, we realize there's only four downs that they can have. Well, that, that's a good thing. If they have an opportunity to get a first down, we're definitely going to be out of, tr uh, out of luck there. So with one timeout, we knew we could stop the clock. The other skill involved in it, because they had the lead, we have to find a way to not let them get a positive yard. If they do not get a positive yard, the clock stops on, it, on its own. So we wanted a pinch. We wanted to slice where the quarterback we thought was going to get a, a quarterback sneak. We guessed properly. Uh, again, uh, luck is where preparation meets opportunity. So we sliced it. We, we pinched inside. We got a helmet on the football. Luckily for us, and I say luckily because that, that was a, I mean, the man shining above us to have a fumble. I mean, how else can you see that? But it, it worked out, and, and by the grace of God, we were able to get the ball and uh, you know, do some things with it after. Thanks a lot, Coach.